This week on Makers Lab TV, testing sublimation printing paper and a word from the sales department. So I was asked to test out the new sublimation paper from AM that they just got in. Other than the normal sublimation paper that you get, you also get it in dark and light clothing options. And after lots of mistakes made, I finally got it down right and I know exactly which paper goes on what shirt. So in the process we've made a few mistakes but in doing so we learnt exactly which paper was meant for what. And our first step was to do all three pieces of paper, uh, dark, light and normal on one shirt. We then figured out that the dark sublimation paper actually has a background of white um, for the white ink. Let's say if you're doing it on a black shirt, there was no white ink from the sublimation printer. So therefore we found out that that goes for a dark shirt. Then we moved on to the light print and as we could also see there was another border around it of what looked like a see-through material. And then we did our normal sublimation, which was perfectly fine. The colors were perfect. There was nothing wrong with this. So in doing so, then we decided to try out the light fabric in a different format and how long we took with the seconds and heat pressing and it still didn't come out right on this polyester shirt. So we decided to take the light transfer paper and we moved to a cotton shirt and then we, in doing so we did do it and we just didn't get the process 100% correctly. From there we managed to figure out the times it took and the degrees of the heat press to get a perfect print for a light fabric shirt. This one being here is perfectly fine, brilliant color, nothing wrong with it. So once we figured out the light uh, sublimation paper then we moved on to the dark. Not knowing that it wasn't actually meant for a dark polyester shirt, as you can see the sublimation absorbed all of the dye of the shirt and then turned the print completely black. So the sublimation dark paper is not meant for polyester shirts because of the dye in the existing shirt that you tried this on. So then we thought it must be for a cotton shirt. So we did try it on the cotton shirt and we eventually got it somewhat right but our times were all off because of the dark sublimation paper coming with finishing paper which is like baking paper. Once you've heat pressed this for the allotted 15 seconds wait for it to cool before you peel off the backing card. Do not peel the backing card off once it's still warm otherwise you'll end up getting this horrible color um, and you start peeling off some of the actual sublimation paper. And within this process, we obviously, going back to the first shirt that we did, and we've got the square that we noticed of white, we then figured out that we could then cut this on our plotter and actually create a shape around it so we wouldn't have a white border. That's why we have got a white square here and we don't have on the cotton shirt. Because we have taken this, we put registration marks on the print from the printer and then we need we then we cut it out on our plotter, which gave us this perfectly nice image, almost perfect in the colour for what we've been using here. Um, it came down to 180 degrees, 15 seconds for this, then wait for it to cool, peel the backing card off and then we did finishing paper for three seconds and then we got our color that was absolutely crisp and beautiful that we were happy with When it comes to A3 and A4 sublimation principal paper, for normal inkjet printers, we stock a huge variety. 
Suitable for printing on polyester and cotton fabrics, both dark and white materials. We also have transparent, silver and pure white label paper. So whatever you need, give us a call. We are yet to assist you. For the light paper, we did a 30 second time at 180 degrees and peeled off the backing card with, while it was still hot. Then we just heat pressed it again with our Teflon sheet for a further 10 to 15 seconds and we got our perfectly good crisp looking print there. For normal sublimation, we use the paper as is, no special needs, 200 degrees at 90 seconds. Once it's finished, pull off the backing card and your shirt is perfect. In terms of durability, which one's going to last the longest? Well, they're all going to last extremely long. Going with normal sublimation, this will last you the longest because it is actually in the fabric. There's no vinyl, there's no adhesive. It's in the fabric, it's dyed there, it will not come out, the shirt will break before the print disappears. For your light t-shirt, this stuff is a little bit stretchy, not too much. It does keep its form after you've stretched it, but as per normal, if you go for a wash, it goes back together. Same goes for the dark fabric. We stretch this quite a bit, and when I say quite, I mean a lot. And after leaving it by itself, it's gone back to its normal state. So I can definitely say that the durability on all of these papers is actually really good. So at the end of the day, if you wanted to print on white polyester t-shirts, you'd use the normal sublimation paper, just like this one. And if you wanted to print on a lighter fabric, cotton, for instance, you'd use the light sublimation paper. And lastly, if you wanted to print on a dark fabric, cotton as well, you'd use the dark sublimation paper. In 2020, we celebrate eight years in business, heading toward infinity and beyond. am.co.za. Achievement matters.